Meet Emma and Catherine. They both have type 1 diabetes and aim to keep their glucose levels as stable as possible. What are you focusing on when thinking about your diabetes? What are your goals? As well as trying to have an HbA1c of below 7, I aim to have a time in range over 70% of the time. What is time in range? Time in range is the amount of time your glucose levels are between 3.9 and 10 millimole per litre. OK, so what's the recommended time in range? The goal of 70% means spending over 17 hours each day within this time in range. Is time in range replacing HbA1c? No. HbA1c is the standard measure and gives an indication of how your therapy is helping you to manage your diabetes. So what does time in range tell me? Great question. Time in range shows the day-to-day -day quality of glucose stability and highlights the time spent in hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, so when your levels are above or below these levels. So looking at both HbA1c and time in range gives a more complete picture. Exactly. Why are we aiming for 17 hours a day within time in range? The guidelines of spending over 17 hours time in range per day were recommended by an international group of diabetes specialists, as having high blood glucose or low blood glucose can be harmful. How much time should be spent outside of this range? The group recommends less than one hour per day below and less than six hours per day above this range. That's interesting. What other impacts can spending too much time outside of this range have? Did you know high blood glucose has been linked to low mood? I can relate to that, but achieving these targets isn't always easy. I agree. There are multiple factors that affect your glucose levels. Exercise, hormones and stress can affect my diabetes. Plus, no two days are the same. The therapy you're on, such as multiple daily injections or an insulin pump, plus the technology you use, such as intermittently scanned continuous glucose monitoring, can impact the time and range you can expect to achieve, as well as the effort and time required to think about your diabetes management. What time and range can you expect from different therapies? Injections plus finger prick, 45%. Injections plus CGM, 51%. Injections plus intermittently scanned continuous glucose monitoring, 58%. Minimed 780G system, 75%. I feel like having a timing range goal of above 50% is good on my current therapy, but it does take a lot of time and effort. How can technology help with my diabetes? Utilising technology, such as an insulin pump with advanced hybrid closed loop, helps to regulate your glucose levels as insulin delivery is automated based on your sensor glucose readings. This limits the time you spend above 10 or below 3.9 millimole per litre and can reduce complications. So, the insulin pump and CGM talk to each other and make some of the decisions for me? Yes, the Minimed 780G system automatically adjusts and corrects glucose levels every five minutes, as needed. So that could improve my time in range? Precisely, and also reduce some of the time and effort that managing type 1 diabetes takes. It's good to know how technology can help with my diabetes, what time in range is and what targets to aim for. What you need to know. Aim for 17 hours time in range, between 3.9 to 10 millimole per litre. The goal is to spend less than one hour below and no more than six hours above this range. Looking at both HbA1c and time in range gives a more complete picture of your glycemic profile. Technology can help improve your time in range, as well as reducing some of the burden associated with managing type 1 diabetes.